This quarantine has got me being Betty Crocker. Hey guys, welcome to another video. I I think we are on day 54 of quarantine, self-quarantine here. This video is gonna be, I actually, I've been filming so many things and I haven't been editing. So I do have like a grocery haul that I might, I might have posted by now, a canless what I eat in a day video, um, making focaccia bread, another grocery haul. Uh, but today, if, things are sequential, it would probably make sense. I have been testing out a recipe. I made it last week uh, for my cousin Jillian's birthday. I made it yesterday. Oh, I made it ah, no, you did it. Happy birthday. Okay, bye. Thank you. <laughs> and if you are Filipino, you guys know what it is. It is called San Srival, which is a Filipino cake that is basically layers of kind of meringue crisps. In between those layers are buttercream with uh, some sort of cashew nut crushings in the crisps. I grew up on it. Whenever I go to the Philippines, I've had it at Goldilocks. So good, it reminds me of just yummy, yummy desserts. I found a recipe online, thank you, Irish. Um, and I will link the original down below, but it is basically called the perfect San Srival recipe. I thought I would make it with you guys to experience the best flavor and taste and texture. Um, you're gonna wanna make this the day before and let it chill in the refrigerator. The cake is amazing. You basically like, knife into it and you hear this nice crisp crushing crispy sound it is very um, laborious but i thought i would vlog it with you guys we're gonna put on our chef's hat and uh make it i do have a cake stand which is up here which i will be using later on to place the cake um, but yeah. Okay, so to start out, the, <laughs> the ingredients magically showed up right over here. We are doing two, if we think about this into two different um, sections or tasks, one is making the meringue, uh, which will be piped onto a um, baking sheet, and then the other is the buttercream. Uh, for the meringue, we're gonna need three egg whites, so eventually I will be um, removing the yolks from these three eggs, uh, a half teaspoon of vinegar, half a cup of granulated sugar, which is in this really cute container, four teaspoons of cornstarch, and then I have whole cashews here, but we're gonna need a half cup of crushed cashews. For the buttercream, we're gonna take the yolks from the yolks that we separated from the egg whites and mix that with some sugar, some butter, which is supposed to be in room temperature, as well as uh, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And in the meantime, we have to get a pan and stencil out the shape in which we want the individual crisps to show. So I have been using Clean, but this is my my little dog Gabe whenever he stays with us his doggy bowl This is about like five five and a half inches um, in diameter um, Something between five and six inches would would work and I will stencil this on to a, a Parchment paper because I only have one pan I'm probably gonna use the same parchment paper and in between do two rounds of baking the meringue because of the limited resources that we have. So here we are separating the yolk from the whites. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I've seen a lot of bakers do it this way. Oh, separating it out with your hands. Actually, but separating it this way, I feel like is the easiest. But you want to make sure that you have clean hands. Okay. 
for meringues, we're gonna wanna put the egg whites into a large bowl. And then whisk it until it becomes a frothy texture. Afterwards, we're gonna wanna put a half teaspoon of vinegar and continue to beat the eggs, white egg whites, for as long as it does so that it gets into soft peak. And then gradually add your sugar and beat some more. For the first time that I did this, it took maybe like five to 10 minutes to get to a thicker texture. You don't want a runny texture until it gets to a medium peak. Then you want to add in the half cups of cashew nuts that are crushed, and then using a rubber spatula to fold from the sides in. You don't want to create too much air so that it mixes in well, but without adding in the air. Then we have a piping bag. We're gonna want to put the meringue inside the piping bag. And then you want to go back to the baking sheet and then start piping in the meringue in a circular motion until you get to all of the stencils. And then using a straight edge, try to flatten out the top. And then you want to um, get the pan and then kind of drop it onto the counter so that it kind of releases as much air as you can and then placing it into the oven for 40 minutes um, at about 300 degree, 320 degree Fahrenheit. You guys, my hair is ridiculous. But right now, uh, the meringues are in the oven but in the meantime, I will be starting my buttercream. So in a bowl, I'm going to mix the three yolks with the sugar and then mix it. And so you want to go over a boiling pot of water so that you can mix that and then the heat will help dissolve the butter sugar mixture. Then I'm going to go into the hand mixer and then mix the egg yolk and the sugar until it is light and fluffy. And then you add in the softened butter. You wanna make sure that the butter is one, unsalted, don't make that mistake, and two, room temperature. You wanna take the hand mixer and mix in the butter in three batches rather than having the entire gallop of butter, which is about one cup. And then you're gonna add your vanilla extract. I like to use like natural, like real vanilla extract because I know that there are some vanilla extract that are imitation vanilla extract. So make sure to do the real vanilla extract and then whip on the hand mixer until it's all blended together. So it is almost 40 minutes. It is about time to remove the pan from the oven. Let's take a look. So. Um, there's a little bit of bubbles, and I don't know if there's a way to avoid that, but I'm gonna let this cool right over here for a little bit. Okay, so we now have our buttercream. I'm gonna let the crisps um, be able to cool down a little bit longer. It's only been 20 minutes. I wanna at least give it maybe 45 minutes to an hour. Um, get a little dollop of the buttercream and put it on this serving platter. Placing the first layer of the meringue crisp first and then get one layer of the buttercream on top of that and then alternate between the meringue crisp and the buttercream. When I have all four layers up, I will make sure to get the sides filled with the buttercream as well as the top and then using some sort of straight edge um, spatula, I don't know what you would call it, but it's the metal straight edge thing that I use for icing. Try to get that as flat as possible as well as the top and then get your crushed cashews and just coat the perimeter and area of the cake. Okay, so we are finally done baking, assembling, all of that stuff for the Sun Street Bell cake. It definitely is a little bit more on the laborious side, but if you have patience and you don't mind messing up and being okay with it, I think anybody can do this. I think the thing that really helps save the appearance of the mess ups is the icing and the crushed cashews on this dish. 
So what I'm gonna do is put this into the fridge overnight and it'll be perfect for tomorrow. Um, it's definitely not, you know, the most perfect that it can be, but I think for somebody that did this for the second time, um, it's pretty good. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Actually, I feel like I should also know, I am not a baker. I have started doing a lot of baking during this lockdown quarantine period, but I am no means an expert. I am a budding and starting enthusiast. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please um, let me know down below what you guys thought, if you guys had any um, suggestions or recommendations for how to make this better, or if you guys have any recipes that I you think I should know about, please let me know. Thumbs up this video, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.